Hello, so here I'm downgrading from UE5 to UE4.27. It's no easy feat. Uh, this is a little bit of manual work. So with the textures, I've chose them all and went to Asset Actions, Bulk Export, and that puts them all into a nice organized file. Same with the meshes. Now the materials are a bit different. I can't just export these. So um, basically I've got the file structure here because I did try to open a copy of the uh, the UE5 version and if you do show an explorer here there is actually content in these uh, that's related to the UE5 copy so I recommend deleting all those out because they won't be working anymore and just making new stuff so so for example I need to make uh, this material for the atomic green so I'm just going to do a new material and call it the same. Right, and what I want to do now is open it here. And luckily enough, the nodes are pretty much uh, copy and pasteable. So like so, but they just need rewired, right? So I'm going to right click to uh, base color to uh, emissive color. Uh, ambient occlusion. Let's just do this manually. So AO roughness and metal. And this one's our normal. Okay, uh, it's missing textures, so it will need those. So I'm just going to apply and save for now. Uh, I'll just continue. Well, it will have errors in there. There's no default. So let's bring in some textures. So I'm going to import the ones that I exported. So that was the projects. Uh, no, no, no. It was yeah, the guns, textures, and AG textures. So all of these. going to save those and just make sure my ORM maps are unchecked for sRGB and these are marked as normal maps as well because yeah it should say that okay uh, so these sRGB off you'll find that here just want to uncheck that save okay so that's those now back to the material and let's locate some of these textures so I'll just go here and drag in the albedo up oh, into this part this is the emission this is the ORM and this is the normal okay that should be that and with any luck, uh, we'll have our material showing up here. Right, so that all looks pretty much the same. And save that. And yeah, uh, so I have to do that for each. The, you know, copying and pasting the nodes is kind of useful. And let's see, we've got the effects one here. So let's do a new material. Um, so there's no real easy way, as far as I know, to get this to work. Just have to go in here, choose the nodes, copy, and then here, paste, and just rewire. Right, some values are retained, but for the most part, things need to be wired up again. Uh, another thing that needs to be done is the shader type needs change. So surface translucent default, surface translucent default and two-sided checked anything else you can think of okay uh, this time actually when i copy and pasted it did fetch the textures so it's recommended to load the textures first uh, as you see the first time around i didn't actually do that okay so let's just connect these up base color emission and this is 
Pass E. Okay, so recommend doing that for all your materials. Um, and we don't have any uh, material instances. We're just working on simple master materials here. Uh, the meshes, yeah, I can bring those in. So I'll import our meshes here. Um, pretty sure that's them. I just tried to bring in materials of its own, and so I'll just uh, delete those. And we obviously need a glass one as well. So let's see what's missing. Yeah, we've got a glass here, so let's open that up. And we've got our textures loaded in this project, so let's see this time if I do a new material and call it um, glass. Paste. You see it's fetched the same texture, so we just need to wire these up. So that's base color opacity. Let's change this to the same shadow type. So we've got surface transis translucent, surface translucent, default lit. Um, so AO. You see, it doesn't actually use roughness in metal, but I'll connect them anyway. That's just to do with the shader type. So I'm, I'm going to change that later, but this is just to get things started. And see, it doesn't use the normal map. Now, if you did want to use that, you have to change the uh, the type here. So we've got translucent, right? We also have um, this here, where you can use uh, different, different options there. And I'm pretty sure there's another option somewhere uh, with more. It's been a while since I looked at this, but it uh, definitely works with the deferred decal stuff. Um, physical materials, let's see, volumetric directional. Okay, these are definitely look at later because we do want to support more things. Uh, deferred decal is, is kind of like what gives you those extra options? Default lit, blah, 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 blah. thin translucent, maybe uh, that might give you those. No, anyway, I'll come back to that later. But you see how we're kind of rebuilding the materials now. Let's see, so the meshes just need those materials assigned. So we've got our base and our, I think this is the effects or the glass. The glass. Okay, that just needs refined a bit as well. And uh, our other mesh here, which is the effects material. Just make sure that's two sided. And we've got our multiplier here, so multiply by 15, you could increase this uh, directly in the shader like that. Uh, in terms of the map, um, there was a map made here, so let's do show an explorer. So you see there is actually the map that I made from UE5, but there's no way that I can open it, so I'm just going to delete that completely from here. And I'll just do a fix up redirectors just to make sure it doesn't refer to that anymore. And I'll add in a new level and call it Raybun's map. And let you save everything. So we've got a Raybun's here and now the other thing to fix is the scene. So I've got some lights and whatnot. So meshes, yeah, I'm gonna drag these in and I don't have any lights, so let's just add at first a directional light. And I can easily come over to UE5 project and copy the position. Right, and then choose that one and paste. And you see it also gets the same values. Let's do the same for rotation. 
copy and paste and it inherits the same values um, scales fine intensity 3 so a lot of this I'll just do manually right 2.5 I didn't change very much here to be honest so that's the first light and the second point light so we'll just add in a point light and it would be nice if I could just like copy and uh, like paste it here but I don't think that works so this one I would have to copy properties like the intensity and let's see two here I think I didn't change much again just just a couple of things and position so yeah I would carry on and do that until I had my very small scene updated now that's how I would basically back work this thanks for watching this video I hope it's useful for you guys sorry if you've got a whole lot of content to to send back to an older version of Unreal I feel your pain but yeah it, sometimes it has to happen that way and I'll catch you guys later bye